Hey, what's up? In this episode, we're going to be talking about my three tips for your cinematographer website. Now, if you are a modern cinematographer, there's three things that I think that your website needs to have on it. And we're going to be talking about that in this episode. We're also going to be looking at five different DPs websites and we're going to be talking about them. I think that each DP is doing something really, really right in this. And I think that you can take something away from that. So number one, the number one thing that you need to have on your website is your best work and you should keep it simple. Don't put too many examples unless your work is like really, 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 really amazing. And then even then it's really just best to have like one really amazing commercial or project, or maybe it's your reel. And then like, I would say no more than nine examples of your work. And you need to choose really good thumbnails. I just can't stress that enough. If you choose bad thumbnails, no one will watch your work. It's that simple. Number two is your contact information needs to be front and center. Like right next to your work needs to be your contact info. It can be a link to it, whatever. It needs to be very simple to be like, oh, I liked your work, let's hire you. Or let's check out who I need to call. So you need to have your contact information right there. Do not hide it. Do not do, just make it really simple for anyone to find your contact, contact info. Put your personal info there if you don't have an agent. And if you do have an agent, of course, put your agent's contact info really big, really simple. The emails, the phone numbers, the agent's name, all that stuff. Make that really simple, simple for people to find. The third thing, if you are a modern cinematographer and it is 2016 people, this is when I'm making this video, I think this will probably be relevant for a little bit longer after this, is you need to have a big old link to your Instagram account. Instagram is where so much of the creative networking happens for the film industry, at least in the States. I'm pretty sure, at least in the UK, I have a lot of contacts in the UK. Instagram is how we communicate with each other. It's like your resume. It's like your real, your behind the scenes, your, it's just everything. Like when someone goes to your Instagram account, it shows so much about your work and about you that you need to have it. You need to have a good Instagram account and then you need to link to it immediately on your website. So those are my three tips and let me show you how this kind of works. I go to someone's website, I'm like, oh, those are some pretty good looking thumbnails. I watch one, that's pretty cool. Okay, what's your contact info? Oh, that's your reps info, you're repped by this person. That seems legit, cool. I'm gonna contact that person and you know what, just so that I can stay in touch with you, I'm gonna follow you on Instagram, maybe message you and just see what kind of shoots you've been doing lately, that sort of thing. That is the workflow, that is the pipeline, that's what people do when they go to your website. So that's why you need to have those three things. Okay, so enough theoretical talk about modern cinematographer websites, let's go actually look at some right here. The first DP's website that I want you to check out is Mr. Ed Moore. It is edmoredop.com. Ed Moore, when you go to his website, boom, I mean he's got what? Uh, he's got a lot of work on there, but honestly all of his commercial work, his narrative work, all of it looks really, really good. So I really approve of this website. I think he made it with Adobe Portfolio, I believe. Um, first up is his reel. And then next is going to be a project that he shot recently, a commercial. And when you go to it, keep it simple, a big picture. Um, Vimeo Embeds, really recommended. Definitely go for Vimeo, Vimeo Pro, worth the money. And then he has some stills from it because not everyone has time to watch the video, believe it or not. So they just want to look at the stills, the best highlights. And then Ed goes even further and puts these pretty baller um, behind the scenes photos. So as well, if you want to go learn about some high-end commercial stuff, go follow Ed on his website. Um, next, we're going to go to contact. Contact, he's repped by WPA, simple. Instagram account right there. That is a perfect execution of a modern cinematographer website. This takes us to our podcast, my podcast called Modern Cinematographer, where I interviewed Ed from his uh, and we really talked about his journey from being a solo corporate shooter to shooting the most high-end TV shows and commercials in the UK. We talk about that process. Okay, next is Justin Derry. Justin does it a little bit different, and he has uh, his reels essentially on the front of his page. That works okay for me. It looks pretty nice, and I think you can go to commercial, and then it breaks it out. Again, not too many examples. Best work up front and center. I don't want to see anything else. Instagram is linked to and the contact info, also just very straightforward. Personal information right here, um, he's repped by Partos, and this is what a Partos formatted resume looks like for a DP. I'll talk about resumes later, it really depends where you are in your career, how you format your resume, and how people are gonna read it, but just so you know, that's what an industry and high-end resume looks like for a DP. We'll do resumes on a different episode. Next is David Vorath. Um, both Justin and David, I've worked with them in person. Uh, really great guys, great DPs. We've all operated, I think, for each other in different times. That's usually what happens is you kind of create a DP network, which we'll talk about at the end. And then 
you really want to get to know that person's work because if you can't handle the job or you're not available or blah, 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 you want to hand that off to someone that you know, that you feel personal with. And also if you have like a four camera shoot, a two camera shoot, whatever, you would like to bring in DPs that you know are going to do a good job, even if you're kind of not on the unit with them. A lot of the times B camera, C camera, they go off and they have to shoot on their own. You want that commercial or that project to come out well, you end up hiring other DPs. I've worked with both Justin and David as operators. Uh, Justin worked uh, Bcam for me, and I've worked Bcam for David. And it has nothing to do with level, we just all respect each other's work. We're all in New York City, we all know each other. Um, so David Volrath, again, boom, look at the website, it's gorgeous. We'll talk about some specifics about websites a bit at the end. And it's like, I just get you the vibe of Dave's work. I can go deeper and uh, view the ones that I want to. Again, work, contact, boom, right there. Um, David also signed by Partos. And I will say the one thing, Dave, I don't see your Instagram on here and you've got a good Instagram account, right? So where is it? Add your Instagram account. Just have it like right there, right there, right there. Make a link for it. I want to keep following what you're doing. I want to see what your shoots look like, like last week. I want to follow you. So just add your Insta Instagram account. Next is uh, Pete. Peter has his reel right up front and then his best work as you scroll down here. That's cool. At the bottom, boom, Instagram account. Knows what's up, knows what's going on. And, about, and then you go to the about, that's his contact info and the resume. Very cool, very well done. Uh, Pete is in LA, really good work going on there. And last but not least is Sloan. Sloan, I don't know 100% about the cover page. It's probably okay, it's pretty simple. I will say that what is a win about this cover page is that I can go directly to your Instagram account from here. And honestly, like that's what I do with every DP that I ever encounter is go to their Instagram page and start just judging. I'm just throwing judgments at people, that's all I do. So again, when you go to the actual website, really good, it's his real, really nice right up front and then his best commercial work and short form work right under it, exactly nine with a real. That's what I suggest. That is what I suggest. And if you don't have nine good commercials or nine pieces of work, then don't put up nine. Just put up three. Three good is better than nine mediocre. Trust me. It, it really, they're not going to be like, hey, where's the rest of your work? If those three are actually good, they don't care. Most people don't care. Sloan does something um, else that's really cool is that he has a previs section. Um, just, so, just so that you guys know, full disclosure, that every one of these DPs is a Cine Design user, Cine Designer user. And they're all using Cine Design for their work. And I do think eventually it's going to be really important that DPs show their previs work. Because there's a little bit more. Everyone, like I said, everyone has great looking work. Right? We go to the reels, we go to the we go to your resume. Everyone's got a good resume. But what's gonna be cool, I think, in the future is that as DPs start to use previs a little bit more, is that you can start to you can start to compare. It's like, oh, that's what you what's what the previs look like for the job, and that's what the job actually looked like. If those things are similar, it means that that DP executed correctly and that that you that, that DP is able to follow through with a plan. I think that's really important. It's something that I did throughout my entire career. Um, finishing up with Sloan's website, he has his resume. And he has his about page with the contact info right there. Pretty easy. Having a picture of yourself on there is really probably good too. So that people get to like know what you look like. So that wraps it up for our look at five different examples of DP websites. These are all my personal friends, uh, DP buddies. I wish I had my, I'm going to do this because I like doing this. There we are. So I will say that if you are a DP at any state in the game and your website doesn't have these three things, your best work, contact info and link to your Instagram account, in my opinion, I think you should go do that. So if you're just beginning, you don't have a website, I really recommend Squarespace. Number one, go get a squarespace.com website. I'm not sponsored by Squarespace. They just make the easiest, best looking websites. Host your videos on Vimeo. Get a Vimeo Pro account and a Squarespace site. Put that together. Next, put your best work up there. Put the contact info and get your Instagram account linked right there. If you don't have Instagram, you're not playing the game correctly. In my opinion, you might be making it work without it. I just think you could make it work better with it. There's so much networking that happens on Instagram. I interview a different DP every week. Actually, I interview probably about four DPs a week. They just come out once a week. Instagram plays a big role for the people. You don't have to do it. Everyone could do a different thing. In my opinion, and the people I talk to, which is a lot of people, Instagram right now, really important. Get that Instagram looking really nice. Link to it on your website. So my ask for you at the end of this episode, if you liked it, if you learned something from it, go follow each one of these DPs, Edmore, Justin Derry, David Volrath, Peter Moiseman, and Sloan Inns. Go follow these people on Instagram. That's your first job. Next, I want you, you to leave a comment below and I want you to write three things in it. One, a link to your website. Two, 
a link to your Instagram account, and three, where are you located and what kind of work do you want to be doing? Is it high-end commercial? Do you want to work on indie features? Do you really love documentary about real people? Write what you like in that description, in that comment rather. And then from there, look at the other people's comments in this community. See if there's people in your area. You might meet someone you didn't know lived in your town or, or really close to you. Next, follow them on Instagram. We are creating an online community right now of cinematographers who are serious about their career. Go follow those other people. Nine times out of 10, if someone wrote a comment in this and they're putting all that out there and you can go to their website and see their work, they're probably a good person to follow. The community we're creating here, this is going to be the strongest online cinematography community that there is. You might as well start to get to know each other right now. So do it, do it, leave a comment below. I will be personally checking all those out. I'll be checking all you guys out on Instagram. I'll be looking at your websites. I'm very interested in what kind of stuff you guys are up to. Until next time, my name is Matt Workman. Get out there, plan better, shoot better. I'll see you guys in the next episode, bye.